Okay. So next naman is general. Okay. So sa general, first thing is property. So, uh, di ko pala na-discuss. Ito yung magiging uh, structural considerations or assumptions natin sa ating building. Okay, so initially, ito yung assumptions natin sa mga sizes and structural specifications ng ating mga members. Okay, sa so Purlin, we're gonna be using a 2x6 na uh, channel. Okay, so merong 20mm na tawag doon. Parang drop siya. So, 50 by oh, should be 6 inches. So, 150 tayo dyan. So, 50 by 150 mm. Then, 2 mm thickness. Okay? Yan yung gamitin natin initial design sa Porlin. Okay? So, 50, oh, 2 inches by 6 inches yung channel natin. And then, meron siyang 20 mm na drop. Okay? Check natin sa section database. Okay? Channel. View table. 6 inches na depth. Okay. Depth tayo dyan. 6 inches. 2. Meron. This one. 6. 2. Kaso, ang thickness niya is thickness ng 0.3 inches. Okay. Kung gusto natin ng English, dito tayo sa British. Kita natin dyan, 150mm by 6, ah, by 50, wala. Yung? 2 by 6 inches. Kaso yung thickness niya is 0. 0.34 inch. 0. 0.34 inch is... Na 8.5 mm. So, wow. Makakapal... So again, pag wala sa section database, yung initial assumption natin sa material, sa property. Pag wala sa database, yung ating prop, uh, assumed property. So gagawa tayo ng custom, custom na property. Dito tayo sa user table. Okay? So do you like to create one? Yes. New table. Okay, uh, choose tayo dito ng general, okay, ito, kasi yung channel na to, di naman to yung may drop tayo na, may drop na channel, so letter C lang talaga ito, dito tayo sa general, okay, okay, section type general, add new property, bam, okay, so ito yung section, Take note, Z natin is horizontal, Y natin is vertical. Okay, so plot natin yung every corner na. So, ang mangyayari, start tayo sa 0, 0. Okay. And then next, up tayo ng, so Z is 0, up tayo ng, this is in meters, 0.15. Okay, and then sideways tayo ng 50, 0 0.05, and then 0 0.15, okay, and then drop tayo ng 0 0.05 again, then 150, drop tayo ng 2mm, that's 148, 0 0.148. Yan, there you go. And then, uh, Z tayo ng 0 0.02. Okay. 
Okay, and then 0 0.148. Okay, so yun yung magiging set. Oh, sorry. Okay, and then sa, sa C channel natin, mag-drop tayo ng 20. So, ang mga yari, 0 0.05 sa Z. Then 150 less 20 is 130, 0 0.13. Okay, Okay, and then 50 less 2, that's 48, 0 0.048. Okay, 0 0.048 and then 0 0.13. And then up tayo, up tayo doon, so magiging point fifth, uh, Z natin is the same, 0 0.048. Then yung Y natin is magiging 0 0.15 less 2, so 0. 8 okay and then balik tayo z natin 0 0.02 which is in thickness natin na 2 mm then yung y natin is 0 0.148 again yan then baba tayo ng 0 0.002 and 0 0.002 okay then Sideways tayo sa Z ng 0. Point, uh, 0 0.048 Okay, and 0 0.002 Yan, and then up tayo ng So same 0 0.048 sa Z Then up tayo ng Twenty zero point zero two, correct. Twenty mm. Yon, and then sideways tayo ng zero point zero five. Yep, and then zero point zero two. Okay. And then, baba tayo. So, 0 yung y natin. And then, z would be 0 0.05. 0. Yun. And then, after nyan, end tayo 0. 0. Yun. Check natin. Compute section properties. Babam. So, okay na. So, plug in na natin yung mga Okay So, click OK tayo Then Then Once na custom Gawa na natin yung custom size Click user table Yun Click mo lang yung Ito, ito yung error initially. So, hindi na natin gagamitin yan. Dito tayo sa pangalawa. Choose a material. That's a steel material. Then, in table, yan naman na. And then, click on. Close. Yan na yan. Then, okay, assign natin to view. Since, overall natin yan i-assign. Let's see. Check natin. Boom. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, meron na tayong property. Next pala dito is beta angle. So, again, i-design ko itong poorly na to considering yung slope ng trust natin. Okay. So, titignan natin. So, that's 3.15. Yeah. So, rise of 3.15. And then, run ka ng 3. Point, ah, no, no, no. So, total width mo, building mo. And then, uh, same as total width ng truss. Kasi, wala tayong overhang. Ang overhang natin dyan is yung concrete gutter. 
sa so, concrete cutter yung sa gilid niya. So, yung trash naka and yan dito sa sides na to. Okay, so that's 9.5 over 2. Yan yung run. Okay. Then yung rise natin is 3.15. Okay, so slope natin ay rise divided by run. So part tan of that. Okay. Equals. This is in radian. So mayare times natin yan in two. One eighty over pi. Okay. So pi radians is one eighty degrees. Okay, 33.55 degrees. So, yan yung slope ng truss natin. And yan din yung slope ng purlin. So, ang mayayari, yan, for example, i-rotate natin itong purlin na to. I-rotate natin yan such that yung nasa uh, side facing top ridge ng roof is itong open na side na to. So, itong side with the flange, dito yan facing downward na. Okay. So, i-rotate natin to into into 180 degrees plus yung i-rotate natin into 180 plus yung slope na to. So, 213.55 in rotation. Okay. Okay. Sa so properties, dito tayo sa... Okay. Yun yung section natin. Beta angle tayo. Yun yung rotation ng ating section. Create beta angle. Angle in degrees is... 213.55. 213.55. Okay. And then, assign to view. Natin yan. Let's see. Oh, bam. Okay. Let's rotate na. Okay. So, bam. Okay. So, again, you can consider natin dito yung tilt, yung slope ng ating truss, yung tilt ng ating purlin. So, we've added beta angle. So, narotate na natin yung section. And, check natin ulit. So, titignan nyo. Yun. Yung flange. Yung web side. Doon yung naka-face sa baba. Okay. Okay. Yan. 